Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn on how to make this dress. After you subscribe, ring the bell so that when the notifications come, you'll be able to follow the series because it's going to be a seven part series of how to make this dress. Welcome. To make the dress, you need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need scissors. You will need a darning needle to do the, the finishings and then I am using cotton yarn, locally made cotton yarn. This is what, you, what I'm going to use to make the dress. So we begin by making a slip knot. We make this slip knot. And then for the starting chain, we are ma we are going to make uh, the ring the, the rings ring chains uh, ac across the neck. So this is how we make them. You chain three. One, two, and three, and then you double crochet into the first chain. You chain three and then double crochet into the first chain. This is it. This is the first ring. Chain three again. One, two, three. And then now you double crochet into this piece from the previous ring. So you double crochet. So you have two rings. Uh, for this demonstration you will need 62 rings that fit your neck. So I will make 62 rings and we said we are making you chain three and then you double crochet into the space. So one, two, three. I double crochet into this chain, the previous ring uh, space. So these are the rings. I will make 62 rings and then I will be back. These are 62 rings. Now ensure that they don't uh, tangle. So straighten them because we are going to make uh, a circle. We are going to make a ring. We are going to join them so we don't want uh, them to to get tangled so you insert your hook there and then you slip stitch so after you've made uh, a slip stitch you single crochet in one of the chains make a single crochet this is the beginning of the second round our first round is made of the of the rings now we are going to the second round you chain two and three and then you single crochet into the next ring chain three one two three single crochet into the next ring one two three and then you single crochet so we will do this up to the end of the round. It's a repetitive stitch so do it up to the end of the round. So you chain three, single crochet and then now we are going to join to the very first uh, single crochet of the of this round that you've been doing so i will chain two instead of three and then i will double crochet into the single crochet this is it so i will need a stitch marker so i will need a stitch marker I'm going to use a thread of a different color because I don't have a stitch marker. So 
I will put my thread here and then I tie it there I have marked my stitch so in this next round I am going to do four chains instead of three so I will chain one two three and four and I will single crochet into this chain three space I single I chain four three and four and then I single crochet in the next chain three space so one two three and four and then a single crochet one two three four a single crochet so you will do this for the next five rows such that this is the first row that we did of the rings then of the three chains now for the four chains they have to be five in total so you make this up to row number seven uh, with four chains row number seven with four chains and every time you are um, finishing around confirm ensure that you have 62 chain spaces it's easier to to lose to lose one uh, at the beginning of of the round or the at the end of the round so ensure that you have 62 even if it means counting one by one in every row every round sorry one two three and four I single crochet in the next ring I wanted to show you on how to finish uh, the round so you chain two as we had done earlier and then you remove this stitch marker and then you double crochet into the crochet into the previous double crochet so one after you finish put a stitch marker and then you continue with your round ensure to always confirm if you have all your um, 62 rings the chain spaces chain 4 spaces ensure they are 62 always confirm and ensure that they are 62 because if they are less or more it will mean that uh, when you are going to separate the armholes you will miss um, a chain space that is supposed to be uh, used in the separations so up to round seven we will be chaining four and then single crocheting into the next ring you chain four and then a single crochet into the next chain four space of the previous row. One, two, three, four, single crochet. One, two, and then I remove my stitch marker. I double crochet into the previous double crochet. So I have seven round so far one two three four five six seven these are seven rounds now for the next three rounds we will be let me place a stitch marker first this is my stitch marker it's very important so that you are not closed Okay, for the next three uh, rounds, you will be chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain, the previous chain four space. 
one two three four five you single crochet so from uh, rounds eight nine and ten you'll be chaining five and then you single crochet in the next ring Then you chain two, one, two, and crochet, make a double crochet here. So this is it. We have done ten rounds. You can confirm. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10 so we have done, done 10 10 rounds we are going to round number 11 but for this one this is what will happen we are going to place stitch markers all round uh, this neck this is how it should be So we will we will put stitch markers all round so that we have the neck region and then we divide the armholes so you will need a lot of stitch markers for my case I'm using a thread so I will have a lot of pieces this is the first stitch marker you have which you should put here And then put another stitch marker in the next ring. So I'm going to put a stitch marker here. And then I'm going to count 16 uh, chain 5 spaces. And then I put markers again. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So on the 17th here, I will put a stitch marker and then another stitch marker in the next. Just go with me slowly so that uh, you don't get lost. In this next one, we will um, count 11. 11 uh, chain 5 spaces and then we put our stitch markers. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here we will put stitch marker and in the next we'll put another stitch marker and then we go we do 16 again so 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to stitch markers. Good. Now we count the remaining, we see how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
so this is how it's supposed to be this is the front and the back and then these are the shoulders and then now when you do this these are supposed to be the armholes such that you make a dress but we are not done yet in marking in marking our our clothes i will i will draw something so that we are not confused look at this diagram we have this is where our stitch markers are we have 11 here we have 16 11 and 16 now we are going to uh, have uh, divide them again at the middle so in the 11 we will add one stitch marker at five so that we are left with one two three four and five one two three four and five then on the 16 we will put two stitch markers so that we have one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six and seven so we will do this again one stitch marker here and then two here so as we saw in the diagram this is what is supposed to be so we have uh, seven here seven here can even write them down so that we know how many we have this is five five seven seven five five yeah so five five seven seven five five seven seven so this is how you uh you your neck should be and this is what I did. I placed the stitch markers as they are supposed to be. So this is it. In part two, we are going to separate the armholes. So hit the subscri uh, subscription button. And then you ring the bell so that when we have part two and any other video coming, coming up, you will be notified and you can be up to date.